previously on Let's Make an Iron Man Account PK, because why the fuck not? We created the new account, its name is Panic with a 2. We talked about its skulls, which is basically 50 attack, 20 defense, and it's going to smoke everyone in PvP. It's a group Iron Man, so it has some help. We died really early because, yeah, we did a whole bunch of early quests. We burnt some red berry pies, which took forever to get. We did some more quests, unlocking Herblore and getting access to the Arduin Cape. We also slaughtered some cats. We then did some more quests, got 58 fishing, and ended the episode with one goal in mind to unlock LMS. 40 agility coming in. There it is. So now we can go to Canifus. We've pretty much skipped everything because of quests and we can go straight to full graceful, which is really cool. Also about to get 65 fishing. There it is. And now we can go get the Thai Baiwana or something where we can catch Karamjan, which is a really good food. And we can also get Karamji, which is a stackable food source for our cat. Give me my nine herb lore. Thank you, bro. So this is the only requirement I actually need for the Karamjis, I think. Yep. Now we can catch raw Karamji. Oh, this is so freaking good. You have no idea now i can just like have one item in my inventory that just feeds my cat finishing off the priest in peril quest so yeah now we can access canifus which means we can do the rooftop to get marks of grace for for graceful now i'm kind of on a roll so i want to keep questing for a little bit but at least now we can do agility whenever we feel like that to finish the feud quest and done we now have 15k thieving experience which is gonna just yeah holy shit 38 just like that we can now do master farmers and we got an adamant skimmer that's kind of cool quest complete now the reason we completed this quest is so we can access the sorcerer's garden that way i can get some quick harrow landers for some energy potions without having to get my farming up about to complete the last maze and we have a full inventory we also got eight farming here i didn't actually realize this is a decent place to get like early farm levels um yeah got like one to eight farming here it's kind of dope but for now i'm just carrying about the harrow landers look at this five harrow landers that means we have five energy potions now that doesn't sound like a lot but holy shit i am sick of walking everywhere came back and did some agility we're now 47 agility getting some marks of grace as well i wasn't actually gonna do agility today but my group partner got the pet at sub 50 agility she was like level 44 agility or something which is absolutely insane 50 agility coming up there it is, 50 agility. We can now go to Falador Cause. Now I'm actually gonna stay here um, because we still need like heaps of marks of grace for the full um, the full graceful outfit. And Canifus is like the fastest place to get um, marks of grace. About to complete, I think this is 500, I'm pretty sure. 500 laps, yep, 500 laps. We should have like 160 marks of grace by now. Holy shit, I was actually close to my guess. 163 marks of grace. We are over halfway. We need 260 in total for... um. For graceful it should be roughly 60 agility oh no way we got the hat from the guy let's go bro look how stylish i look now that's the mark of grace we need we're at 259 come to daddy oh this is so freaking boring we're also nearly 60 pick up full graceful right here now i think i'm gonna stay here until we get to 60 agility that way i never actually have to come back here again this is it give me my 60 agility Thank you. Fuck me. That was whoever invented agility. Fuck. Grace. I'm out of run energy, but give me my full graceful. Let's buy one of each. Oh, that feels so good, bro. I don't know if I should buy those yet. Yeah, let's just not do that just in case. But here is my full graceful. So fucking happy. Holy shit. Now all I need is some energy potions and <laughs> we never have to walk again. But I just quickly tick off something on my to-do list, getting a bunch of planks i think it should be enough i think it's like 250 planks um but yeah it's like the best way to get planks for early construction because there's like a little spawn up there so i figured i'd get a bunch of those because i do need construction for winter todd later on because by repairing the brazier you get some xp yeah 250 planks i'm hoping that's enough to get to like maybe 30 ish construction um it's kind of the goal but it's not that deep honestly we just hit 3000 death runes and i'm out of money as well so i think i'm gonna quickly sell all these it should give me like 300k or so i'm thinking um i'll probably go up to mage bank to do it as well so bro i think this is the best shop to sell them out um where are they here they are 180 each okay yeah, this would have to be the best place to sell them. So I'm just going to dump them here. It should be about 300k if I sell like maybe 50 or 100 per world. Dump the last 30, I think. 
Bro, I'm so happy with that. 310k cash stack. That's going to last me like a really long time. I might even start some magic training now. Because now that I have full graceful, I do want to spend a lot more time like running around the map, getting skills up. But that means we need to unlock more teleports. So let's buy some of these. So we have 500 nature runes and 100 law runes. Now for magic training, we're going to head down to the magic training arena. And we're going to use low elk on one of the mini games down there. And it's roughly 100k XP per hour. It's like one of the best things that you can do for early game. Bro, rune light is broken. Look at this shit. It's literally like highlighting the things that I need to do. And it tells me like what item is on each pillar. But anyway, we've only been doing this for like five minutes. Let's see how much XP we've gotten. It should be... I've only been here for a few minutes as well. And just like that, bam. 43 magic. You'll probably stay here until I get to 45-ish magic or until I run out of runes. Um, whichever one comes first, that way we can have the Camelot Tele, which is pretty much all the important teleports that we have left, really. Quickly gonna buy a new staff, air staff, make teleporting a little bit easier. Finishing this mini game real quick. Is that all I have to do? So this is probably the second best mage shop in the game um, after the one in Mage Bank. Like sometimes I just wanna buy quick runes and I don't want to have to go all the way up to Mage Bank to get them. Like, you know, the good runes, like nature runes and that sort of thing. Continuing the total level grind, trying to get to 750. And by completing this quest, there it is. We get 15 crafting, just like that. Um, let's buy one of these because we have to blow glass at some point. And now I just buy sand and seaweed. No, I think it's soda ash. I think I buy sand and soda ash. That should be enough for now. 100 molten glass and a bunch of pineapples so now we're going to put the pineapples into the compost bin and then it's going to turn into super compost which we're going to need for a lot of farming um, eventually even turning it into ultra compost i'm not sure how soon i can do that i have to look that up this also gets us really early farming levels in fact now that we've unlocked graceful and teleports i probably will start my farming now quickly getting 20 crafting the xp per hour on this is actually pretty decent at such a low level so this should be really really quick 20 crafting coming in that was super, super quick. 20 crafting is all we need for a couple quests. I'm going to pause crafting and come back to it later. Quickly getting 45 magic via super. There we go. We can now teleport to Camelot. I think this quest complete. Cool. And then we get the extra stuff. So there's eight construction. If you remember from earlier, we collected 250 planks. So I'm hoping that's enough to around 30 construction. Um, Yeah, we'll see. I don't even know what I'm doing here. Turn construction. I think these chairs are the best thing to build. Maybe we make like... A kitchen, maybe dining room and 25 construction coming in. We're pretty much out of planks. So 25 is still pretty good. I wanted to get 30, but yeah, it'll do. Just collecting our super compost. I'm actually excited to start farm runs. Like we get a little bit of XP as well from this. I thought it'd be more, but um, yeah, I'm literally so excited to start farming. I don't know why. While we're here, let's Pollivan Nietzsche, whatever it's called. It's probably the best place to put it, like the desert, because it is the hardest place to get to, because I don't have dueling rings yet. Okay, I've been putting this off long enough, but we are going to go get our Adamant Axe. Now, I'll need this axe in order to get 50 fire making as efficiently as possible, since we do need to get 50 fire making for Winter Todd. And we get this Addy Axe by killing this monster deep in the wilderness. It's like the only logical place that I can get it from. Um, and it's actually quite a high drop rate. I figured I'd be safer in a higher risk world. So we've got a little bit more stuff, um, some more runes so we can just AFK here a little bit longer and hopefully we get the axe soon. Kill count number three. The three runes. Kill count number four. Just give it to me, bro. Just give... <gasps> Bro, four kill count adamant axe. Bro, I'm like shook. That was so much faster than I expected. And we even managed to keep my HP like under 30, which means we're still winter Todd ready. So that's really, really, really good. 35 wood cutting coming in. There it is. Now we need to quickly get 35 um, fire making. So that way we can burn teaks as well. But um, yeah, as soon as we get 35, 35, we are pretty much good to go straight to teaks and then teaks will take us into the 50s 35 fire making bug we can now go burn teaks and 40 fire making 45 fire making coming up there it is and that is also total level 600 so 150 levels to go and then we can go do some lms and 55 making let's fucking go we can now do winter todd once we unlock lms 27 crafting we can now make dueling rings which is actually going to help heaps for my farm runs about to get 35 crafting we need five more levels to unlock the dig site pendant which is going to be huge for birdhouse runs which i'm a little bit late on yes we would like to make this emerald ring 
There we go. I just got to enchant it and we're good to go. This is a massive milestone, actually. The ability to like use these teleports on the dueling ring is actually huge. Oh, 15 farming coming in on our first farm run. Let's go. We can now do oak trees. So I think for now, I'm just going to plant as much as I possibly can. I can't believe my fucking cabbages died. But yeah, I'm going to plant as much as I can. Trees, allotments, just everything. Hello, sir. Take this marin tool leaf and give me... Wait, that's not right. Oh, I'm such an idiot. I needed to give him the Irrit Leaf. So in order for me to unlock Karamb ones, I need an Agility Potion. And I get that by giving this thing to Dr. Jekyll. Fuck's sake. About to finish the Sleeping Giants. There we go. 6k Smithing XP. Now we can do the brand new Foundry, which is a really cost-effective way of me getting early Smithing levels. Here's your sword, big man. Oh my, 5k XP drop. That's like three, four levels just there. Yeah, holy, three levels just like that. What the? Another sword for you, sir. Thank you for my four levels. We can now make gold bars, which we'll need for jewelry. I'll need to get 40 plus mining at some point, but I shouldn't have to worry about that yet. 20 farming coming in. I can now grow sweet corn. I should have made these a long time ago, but I figured I'd just quickly make them now. Just got to enchant them and done. Gaming necklace is complete. Just need to get rubies, but there, there we go. Yeah, I need to get rubies, but they're bought out on every world except for PvP worlds. 40 crafting completed. Now we can make Dixa Amis. Quickly getting the mage level that we need to, there it is, 47, to um enchant the Dixa amulet. I need 49, but I get a plus two boost or a plus three boost by drinking this magical blue potion thing. Eyes of Glow Free quest complete. That should get us a whole bunch of total levels, particularly because of the rune crafting levels. Like that's literally plus 25 levels right there. 25 farming coming in. Our progress is looking very, very nice. X marks the spot complete. I don't really care about that. I just want this lamp, which I can use on Herblor. Now I just got to do a few more of these quests and just dump the XP into Herblor. Clients of Karend complete. Go into Herblor, please. Thank you. And one more lamp. That should get us 15, I think. Yep. 15 Herblor. What favor would you like? I think Hasidious, right? I think Hasidious makes the most sense. It is time for fruit stalls. We're going to get 50 thieving to unlock that armor that gets you times two loot from pickpocketing because we have run out of seeds for farming. Should be 45 on this one. Yep. 45 thieving, 48 thieving, two levels to go. And we are also 700 total level, which is huge. And I also realized that you get strange fruits from this place. And these are basically energy potions. So I've just been banking them. Finally, 50 thieving. We can now crack wall safes in the rogue's den. So this means we can now go get that. Just dropped my fuck, where is it? Let's go. The first successful safe has been cracked. Cool. I think that's it. I've never actually done this before. So I'm like watching a guide and learning as we go. So now I think I just open this thing and yeah, awesome. So I just do this a bunch of times and get the whole set. Final safe, hopefully, unless we get bad RNG and we did not. We got good RNG. Let's go. We're finished. Gloves are the ones that we need. And there we go. We got the full rogues outfit. We can now continue our farming journey and get two times loot from master farmers. We need to do the dig site quest um, along with some other things so that we can unlock birdhouses and add that to our farm runs. Super regret not getting these strange fruits earlier. If you guys are planning to do an Iron Man, get these ASAP. They make a world of difference. The dig site 15k mining XP. That's actually huge. I didn't even realize it gave that much XP. 20 herb lore as well. We can now clean Haralanders, which means energy potions. And we just need six more levels. Just need to get this pretty amulet from here. And then we can enchant our dig site amulets. Clean necklace. Okay, I think that's actually the item we needed to unlock the dig site ami. Sweet, so now I think I drink this, boost my magic. And where is it? There it is. Done. We finally have the dig site amulets unlocked. Next on the list is 100 kudos, bone voyage, and then birdhouses unlocked. Demon slayer complete. Oh my god, fuck off. Yeah, it's one of the quests I needed for kudos. And the cult quest complete as well. So that should be 100 kudos, I think. What's up, buddy? Give me my 100. There we go, 103 kudos. We are complete. Now we just got to start that bone voyage quest, get to Fossil Island, and done. What's the bet? This is literally going to be the new sailing skill. It better not be, just saying. Fossil Island unlocked. Man, it looks so pretty. I'm so happy to finally be here. Use dig site pendant on this. And now we should be able to teleport here. Nice. There we go. Create this fancy chest. Thank you. Oh, 26 con. Don't know how many of these I need. Um, we'll make one clockwork mechanism right now because I don't have any more steel bars. I'm hoping this is enough. Here it is. Build. Our first ever birdhouse. Oh my, I've never actually done this before. So this is like, 
I just use these on this right. Yep, done. Holy shit, that's that's actually so easy. What the fuck? Thought we'd do a little bit of mining. 41 coming in. We can now wear the rune pickaxe. Just AFKing some mining whilst I'm editing some videos in the background, which I think is probably the best thing to do at the moment. Because we're 40 mining now, it means we also get gold ore. And if you guys remember, we got 40 smithing quite a while ago. So now we have the ability to make gold bars from scratch so we can have infinite jewelry. And 45 mining coming in. We can now mine granite. I don't think I'm ever going to do that. Ran out of seeds again. So we are here getting times two seeds from this master farmer. So we're only a few levels away from unlocking LMS at 750 total. And in order to do that, we're going to do the restless ghost, which will give me some prayer levels into nature spirit. And nature spirit is going to get me like 15 levels because of the defense reward. Restless ghost complete. Give me my prayer levels. Thank you, bro. Only 12 total levels left. I think that's done. Yes, no, yes, let's go, finished. Oh my, that's it, 750 total. Oh shit, we got 30 HP, not ideal. I wanted to stay under 30 HP for Winter Dodd, but we, we unlocked LMS, it's done. We got 750 total, that's all the requirements completed. Enter the hider on and you're all gonna die. <laughs> I'm literally gonna sweat and put all these kids in the bin. Oh, I'm so excited, bro. Holy shit. Yo, that is it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Did you know we're actually streaming live right now? We're streaming every day on Kick with regular giveaways. So if you guys want to check it out, I'll leave a link down below. But yeah, that's pretty much it. See you guys next time. What are you waiting for? Do it! Yes, I'm real.